I'm Kevin. I live in Philadelphia and I'm a cancer survivor. Uh, I was diagnosed in 2019 with ocular melanoma and went through the diagnostic procedures and the molecular testing for the tumor and then went through surgery and radiation therapy and I'm now in observation uh, two years later to ensure that the tumor doesn't spread to other organs in the body. Actually when I was a teenager and a young adult some of my optometrists spotted uh, the little spot on my iris on the front of the eye and took a photograph and asked me to share it with my parents and ask when did they first notice this spot and they both said that the spot had been there since I was a baby so that was actually good news that it hasn't evolved or gotten larger over the years and as I became an adult one of my ophthalmologists decided to have me be seen at one of the uh, eminent eye hospitals in the world here in Philadelphia and so starting in 2012 I started to undergo annual observation um, meaning that they looked at the eye very closely uh, photographed it did different types of ultrasonic measurements and uh, just generated reports and followed me very closely so then, in May of 2019, uh, I remember the visit. Uh, I came before one of my doctors and it was actually a longer visit than normal. The doctor was flipping through the iPads that they were using at the time to look at the photographs from today and also back over the last few years and flipping back and forth repeatedly. And I was very suspicious of all this activity of looking very closely at the photographs in the eye. And then he looked up at me and he said, I think you know what I'm about to tell you. And he actually didn't use the word cancer. He didn't use the word tumor either. I was really kind of surprised. Um, but we discussed what his findings were, that there were some of these brown cells that seemed to be migrating from that original spot on the iris and heading towards the white part of the eye. And so that was a signal that perhaps this tumor was starting to spread, even in the smallest bit. And so there were some options. We could do nothing and just continue very close observation. We could take a biopsy with very fine needle aspirate under anesthesia, I wouldn't even feel it. Uh, and the third option would be to then go on and have radiation therapy. So I went home at that point, and in the month of June, about a month after the initial clinical diagnosis, I was attending the American Society of Clinical Oncology meeting in Chicago for my work. And while I was there, I met two ocular melanoma patients at the patient advocacy booths. And before I could get much out, uh, they redirected me to Castle Biosciences, who was exhibiting in the hall there. And as soon as I walked over there, I was astounded at the availability of this type of genomic prognostic test. So later in June, I went back to the hospital and had the biopsies performed, and the one extra aspirate was taken and sent to Castle in Phoenix. When the report was generated, I realized that my score, or my result from the castle testing was a class 1a and that is the most favorable prognostic score meaning that it's the lowest risk for metastasis in three or five years after diagnosis and when it was read by a world expert he said to me kevin this is not the picture of metastases that we would expect to see and he said your chance for metastasis is extremely low in the next three to five years and with that, I have to tell you, these findings were of huge importance to myself and my family and put myself at rest that we could move on. I realized that my results might be different from those of other patients and families and that they might have moderate or high risk of metastasis. Getting a prognostic biopsy is truly a big decision for patients and families, and I encourage you to discuss it. And for me, it was an easy decision, but I do appreciate that for some people, it's something that it just might be too much information and that perhaps it's something that you don't want to know about. And I respect that. But know this, the Castle Uvule Melanoma Prognostic Platform can truly be life-changing.